Hey guys, Colver here. Welcome back to Warship Realms Christmas themed. Look at that. I've logged into the game today and it's Christmas themed all over the place. It looks fantastic. We've got fireworks. We got snow. We got the snowman. It all looks great, but what do we get? Do we get any Christmas stuff? I'll have to check in now with you guys. I'll give you guys some of my thoughts for the events that are coming up and whether you should be summoning or not today or starting tomorrow. There's going to be a 2x chances today right 2x chances means just 2x chances on legendaries not epics nothing else it's just 2x 0.92 percent 0.08 percent guys if you haven't checked on the website just yet you should check it out we have a pity system in there already where you can track your summons i'll show that in just a second but let's just go over everything okay let's just go over everything 2x what events do we have let's click on here it seems to be like a, a boss challenge where we do difficult bosses and we get one-time rewards. That's cool. I don't expect this to be difficult at all for most of the players out there. Maybe if you're just starting out the game, then it's going to be difficult. But any anyone else, it should be fine. Uh, the hard mode challenge, I'm not sure. Opens up in two days, 22 hours. So what is that? Sunday? Sunday, we should... No, not even Sunday because 22 hours is Saturday. It's Sunday, Monday, actually. That's weird. All right. Time limited summon. It's, of course, Alistair. I want to try this guy out. I should probably go on the test server to try things out for um, for you guys to make a video. But honestly, everybody should be going for this one. Uh, it looks like a fantastic legendary that is available for free. It, 200 fragments available. It's just fantastic. Um, we've got some event bundles. Again, we have a pack value calculator on the website. You should check that out as well. But just from the looks of it, I mean, it's one summon per about one dollar. It's um, this W gold currency. So that's one dollar, almost 0 0.9, something like that. But this is doesn't look like a big offer where you should just go out of your way to pick it up. If you are somebody who spends on the game, because you can always get the one summon here basically every day and the extra energy. This is valued at about, I want to say uh, it's 60 gems per 200 energy. So what is this? 120 um yeah not so much right 150 150 gems worth not so much um and and the gold is negligible if i want to say they, they've been more generous with the gold lately which i am very appreciative of um and then uh the redeem shop redeem shop seems to be the most interesting thing here where you should take note of right avatar border if you somebody that cares about this obviously this will be on your purchase list on on the top end but honestly what needs to be on the top end will be summons we always need more summons crystals legendary crystals you will always need these you need 10 per legendary um so the more legendaries you have the more of these you will require so have that in mind rare summoning crystals yes always get these i mean who doesn't want to summon i mean this is obvious this one there's 20 fragments for alistair here which just blows my mind that they just give them through in this one it's just fantastic um, legendary skill dust again 300 skill dust from here um, overall very good what I don't think it's valuable here it's this one the mythic extracts you will get tons of these as you play through and the the more you know heroes you have of course the more of these you'll need but you'll reach a point eventually guys I'm telling you you'll reach a point where, where this things will just stack up and there's no reason ever to buy these okay same thing with the flawless meteorites these are kind of okay value but 250 seems like a little bit on the on the too much side of things um and then xp bonus gold bonus um epic skill crystals uh, skill dust i mean this is all subject to where you are skill crystals as well where you are skill crystals for epics will be more valuable um depending on what kind of account you're running if you're running like an account where it's more free to play medium spender you're using more epics than anything else these will be again very valuable, but eventually you'll just run out of epics to to skill up. Honestly, I, I, that's where I am at the moment. I just don't have the the need to uh, skill up any epics. Of course, I've got many legendaries, but even if I didn't have the legendaries, the epics that are usable, I've skilled them up all, um, and I don't buy any packs. Zero packs bought with skills um, in them. Um, this one is just bottom of the list, and anything else is just subject to whether you have remaining of these or not 18 days duration it means we'll get lots of this currency um the oblivion pendant depends on if you got setram or not i have a setram a4 which makes this an interesting purchase but remember the mythic artifacts guys 
you need copies of the mythic artifacts to get them leveled up so it's not an easy upgrade if you've got something better already for your marksman maybe you shouldn't do this and i'm not even sure if this is worth it because it's five seconds extra ultimate duration which is all right it's great but it's also extra five seconds on self-repair which sounds awful to be honest um because you'll be out of the fight for an additional five seconds so just having more damage for five seconds and then be out of the fight for five seconds doesn't seem worth it um it feels like it shouldn't be there. It sh this five seconds should should have been maybe one second instead of five. Seems very, very bad. And then uh, the Immortal Shop. This is... I have no idea what this is. This might be related to the Immortal Codex. Oh, yeah. There it is. Um, is the Immortal Codex actually in the game right now? I don't think so. I, I didn't see anything about it. Um, it would have popped up somewhere, right? I have no idea. Uh, on where they put this but obviously it's not in the game just yet i know it's on the test server which i'll make videos on i'll try to make videos on for you guys but it's obviously not there then um what else do we have we got some gear raid one events going on right now i'll obviously do this get some alistair shards those are very much welcome and then we'll have awakening of heroes this is through summons uh, not not through summons this is through uh just leveling up and promoting okay i've got to do some of this I'm not gonna go too crazy. I don't, I don't mind um, people getting first here, but I'll probably not get first here. Is it worth going out of your way to go crazy with this um, in terms of getting 200 fragments? Let me have a look. So Alistair, A1. When reaching the full talent stacks, basic attack has a 15% chance of inflicting one stack of radiant erosion. Yeah, this is interesting. The, the radiant erosion though, uh, I believe stacks up to only three. Um, I think somewhere, somewhere, some, so, somewhere this was written. Um, if the target is afflicted with three stacks of radiant erosion, basic attack. Yeah, yeah. Here, when you click on the actual skill, um, yeah, stacks up to three times. So radiant erosion. Although interesting, only stacks up to three times. So the A1 is not that amazing, but. You know, it gets you closer to the A2 and A3, I guess. Uh, so maybe one of you guys out there might be interested in this one. So overall, lots of things to do. Let me just show you guys on how uh, the pity system works over on our website, warcodex.com. Okay, I'll open it up for you guys just now. Boom. Uh, there we go. Okay, this is the website, guys. Um, it's, it's very interesting on uh, how we've been adding everything. We've been adding articles heroes as as long as they're updated by you know by everything we've been trying to add them as well um to match the global heroes by the way we haven't added the ones on the forerunner just yet artifacts we've been adding those trying to stay um with the updates also on their names but this is kind of weird because they've been updating their names and it's very annoying but um we'll be trying to do that we also have a tier list, which I try to update as often as I can. Um, I personally think that the tier list is at a very good point of the moment, but obviously there's always room for improvement. So I'm always open to feedback. We've got a Discord server where there uh, we try to get the feedback and, and talk with you guys. So uh, there's the pity tracker. So here, how does this work? My last pull was a Vierna at 3991. Summons, let me zoom in a little bit for you guys to see. 3991 pulls. If I got another hero, let's say a Laura, a 3992, I could have just added it here just to make things um, you know, more visible. And you can scroll through down and see when you summon your other legendaries. But you need to manually input this, all right? And once you do this, guys, you add your, um, your recent legendary pulls. When you are in game, okay, when you are in game, just go to your summons, check, okay, how many summons am I at? 1498 ugh, 4098 and if i put that here 4098 and uh we'll see that i'm 113 pulls away from a guaranteed legendary guaranteed legendary or 93 pulls away from just pity okay so um i'm close that's why i'm saving everything for the the one plus one that is the most interesting that thing that is coming in terms of summons that's where you should be summoning guys surprise invocation of spirits with getting one random legendary, uh, I think this is very well worth going for. Even where my account is at the moment, 
any um legendary that i have and i get a dupe of it's it's okay i mean it's gonna give me an awakening which is nice makes it stronger and there's still many heroes that i want and the most the most obvious one that i want is a uh what's her name um Elowen. forgot her name because I, I just she doesn't pop up pop up um i don't think they're gonna do a 10x anytime soon for her but Elowen is just a must have i think for pushing Guild Balls, I would love to get a Hex. I think they're going to do a pack with a guaranteed Marksman in there soon. So if, it, if it's head, Hex and Hatsuit in there, I'll be so happy. But I'm not sure about that. And then um, Elowin, Yeah, obviously, I would love an Elowin, But um, I don't see them doing like a healer. Uh, Esotericist, I think she is. Yeah, Esotericist. I don't think they'll do an Esotericist one anytime soon. Because there's not so many legendaries in there, but um, yeah, I, I would be, you know, so, so, so much going for an LON. I would love an LON. Anyway, guys, this was the video. Just giving you a heads up of everything. This was it for today. I'll do some videos on the other two heroes that they told us to make some videos on, on the test server. I want to try them out, especially one of them. I made a, a post yesterday. No, the day before that. So definitely check that one out. I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.